imposter syndrome. I'm struggling to figure out exactly what I want to share on YouTube. Just thinking about scripted recipe videos drains me. But maybe a big part of that is the recipe development itself. These days, I'm seeing more and more um, lifestyle content creators sharing recipes or cooking videos, and there have been times I wondered if they were overstepping or like trespassing on the territory of food bloggers and recipe developers. But then I remember an inherent characteristic and even advantage of social media and online content creators. Um, there's a skill and art to online marketing and that includes influencers. I feel like this field or niche was meant to be inclusive, open and accepting of everyone and conducive to learning. Not a place with bullies or a place like something to fear um, or induce anxiety, but like practically everything in life, um, the intended purpose of social media, whatever it was, um, has probably been affected and redefined by its users. I don't think social media is inherently bad at all, um, but I do think that it brought with it some, um, I don't know, consequences that are now unavoidable. Peer pressure, insecurities, emotional exhaustion. It isn't perfect, um, but I'm not either. I've seen and still see a lot of content creators take a break from their work at some point. Whether it's planned or not, it does happen. I've seen almost all of them come back or check back in, but I do wonder, did something change? Like from the time they left their work to the time they returned, is that change visible on screen? Or is it something that took place off screen? Or maybe the only change that happened is actually in their curating. What they choose to share now is different from before. Maybe more inclusive? Or maybe exclusive? What do you think?
just I, I, I need fries tonight. So won't you bring me cheddar cheese, all right? Sprinkle a lot of meat and cheese on top really slow. Cause I, I, I need fries tonight. Whoa.